Today we'll be making some fantastic French toast casseroles, which is essentially a baked version of French toast. What you'll need is a half loaf of bread, five eggs, two cups whole milk, one can sweetened condensed milk, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon cinnamon powder, two cups of brown sugar, one cup all-purpose flour, half cup of butter cut up, two teaspoon vanilla extract, and half cup of pecans. First, take your milk and add the eggs to it along with the vanilla, the cinnamon, the salt, and whisk it all together. And then also add the condensed milk in there at the very end. Once your mixture is ready, pour it on the cut up pieces of bread until they are completely soaked. If needed, you can press down with a fork to ensure that each and every slice of the bread in there soaks up the butter mixture and the milk mixture really well. What you're gonna do is you're going to um, freeze this overnight if you prefer or leave it aside for a couple hours. And then on the side, you're going to take your butter, your brown sugar, your all-purpose flour and coarsely mix it all together. Now you don't want to do this in a blender, you want this to be coarse because you want that brown sugar bubbling up when you pour it on top of the mixture. Again, you do this right before baking it, so if you've left it overnight, pull it out of the freezer and then pour this mixture on the top and what you're going to do is you're going to spread it out evenly and press down if needed, should look like this. And it's optional to add pecans on top. I love nuts on my brunch French toast, so I'm definitely gonna be adding it to mine, but you can leave them out if you prefer. Then you're going to bake it at 375 degrees for about 35 minutes in your oven. No need to cover it because you want the top to be crispy. And this is how it's going to look once it comes out. Delicious. Again, here are the ingredients for you. And I really hope you give this a try. Let me know how it goes. Make sure you put a comment at the bottom if you have any questions for me. And make sure to follow, like, subscribe, and comment for more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all very soon.